Hello everyone in YouTube land, we love our 07 back here, and welcome back. This is going to be another list video, a top 5 list video of my favorite gaming icons. I thought, I was thinking about this over, like, what videos I should do next, and this popped in my head. I was like, yeah, that's it. Perfect idea. My top, because I already did a couple months back or a month ago, my top um, gaming developers, so I thought this would be a pretty good idea. I think everyone should do it. Comment on the section on your favorite gaming icons or do a video response or whatever. whatever do whatever you want. Um, but there's going to be some obvious, obvious ones on my list. Um, some personal favorites, so I don't know how long this video can will go, but I'll talk about each one of them and what they're best known for. So um, these are people that I look up to and rightfully so, they should be. So my number one choice is probably the only one that's in order and <laughs> it's going to be an obvious <laughs> one. So um, my number five choice is Satoru Iwata. He's the president of Nintendo at the moment. He has been for a while. I think, I don't know, maybe since the GameCube era, I think 2001 or two. Maybe, no, 2004, I think. I think so. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but he's, he was also responsible for Hell Laboratory. They're, they're responsible for Kirby, Smash games, all that good stuff. So, yeah, he's pretty well known, and he's a great game designer, too. So, um, Next one, AJ Anuma. Um, for those that don't know, he's he's been working for, for Nintendo for a while, and he's uh, the overseer for every Zelda game out there. He pretty much oversees any Zelda game. He's doing Skyward Sword, so yeah. Legend. Amazing. Uh, gaming god. <laughs> and the next one, Satoshi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing, pronouncing his name right or whatever, so ex apologize. Satoshi Tajiri, yes. Um, and I wanted to clear things up. He's not dead. <laughs> Dumb rumors. He's not dead. He was supposed to be. He died in the Japan earthquake tsunami. He didn't die. He's alive. He's fine. He's well. He doesn't live anywhere near what you know where that happened. So yeah, he's he's fine. He's alive and well. But anyways, moving on from that. Um, he's amazing. He's the creator of Pokemon, as you can see. Um, yeah, he's my personal favorite. I have to put that put him on my list somewhere. I mean, obviously my top five. So. Um, next up, not a big surprise actually for people that actually really know me about gaming, that know me actually, so, um, and Shinji Mikami, for obvious reasons, Resident Evil, he's the director of Resident Evil, not anymore because he left Capcom a couple years ago, um, yeah, so he's also responsible for Devil May Cry, Beautiful Joe, he also did recently, yeah, like about a year ago I think, he did Vanquish, which that game was shit. And I think he's doing with um, Suda51, I think he's doing that Shadows of the Dam game, which looks terrible, in my opinion, anyways. I think it looks awful, but uh, it sucks that he left Capcom because of, you know, obviously we all know the last great Resident Evil game was Re Resident Evil 4, and he was the director on that. Um, but yeah, he's a legend. I remember when I was looking through my, um, <laughs> my Resident Evil Remake Player's Guide, and I looked at this picture, and I was like, that's the guy responsible for Resident Evil? I was like, I don't know how old I was, like 11 or 12. I was like, that game, that guy is a god. And I was like, that guy's a legend. He's godlike, <laughs> in my opinion, anyways. <laughs> and my number one choice is, yeah, Shigeru Miyamoto. Awesome pitcher, by the way. <laughs> Without him, gaming would be dead. I mean, he's the gaming god, not just of Nintendo. He's the definition of gaming. He's a household name. Everyone knows him. He's Shigeru Miyamoto, responsible for Mario, Donkey Kong, Zelda. I mean, he's he is gaming. If you don't respect him, you don't respect gaming. That's it. That's a fact. I mean, if you don't respect him, if you don't, if you don't like Nintendo, any Nintendo haters out there, at least respect Nintendo. Not just Nintendo, the name, the brand, or the games. Respect him. Yeah. He's gaming royalty. So, um... But anyways, this is my top five gaming icons that I look up to. I want to see your guys' top anybody's. If you're a Nintendo hater, if you're a Sony fan, if you're a Microsoft fan, I want to see your top five gaming icons, people that you look up to in the gaming industry. If you're passionate enough about gaming, you would have a list of a top five or top ten, top twenty list of people that you look up to. So I'm signing out, and peace out, guys. Bye.